Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to trim multiple clips in Final Cut Pro. You know, multitasking doesn't come easy for me. It's kinda like chewing gum and... What was I saying? Now I'm gonna share with you how to trim and cut multiple clips in Final Cut Pro, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the compound clips and how those can help clean up our timeline. Let's check that out. All right, we're here in Final Cut Pro and we're taking a look at trimming multiple clips at once. So, you may come to a point where you have a project that looks kinda like this. Now before we go any further, there's a few things you can do to just make this a little bit more manageable. One of the things you can do is, is expand your timeline. Looks pretty good, but we still cannot get everything in the frame. Now, the other thing we can do is come over here to the appearance settings of the timeline. So this will change how the clips look. So this either zooms in and out or it will increase the size of the uh, clips themselves. So if we want that to be smaller, that makes it more manageable. So you can choose everything from having just the waveform to a larger waveform with a smaller thumbnail to eventually where you have no waveform with a larger thumbnail or just none of it at all. <laughs> So if you're working with a lot of clips, sometimes this might be just the easiest thing, but we've got space, so we'll keep it right here. So first thing we can do with the blade tool, select all your clips, go up to trim, and select blade. The shortcut for that is command B. Or if we wanna skip selecting the clips altogether, we go to trim blade all, which that shortcut is shift command B. Shift command B, slice and dice right through everything. So the other option that we have is the trim tool, which we can select all of these clips, go up to trim and select trim end. And what that will do is take all the clips and kind of just bracket them all to that spot. Speaking of bracket, bracketing kind of helps you remember the shortcut, which is option right bracket. In a similar way, if we needed to cut the beginning of that clip, maybe take out the first few frames, we can select all of our clips again, go up to trim and trim the start. And there we go. We just took out the starting part of those clips and the shortcut for that, very similar, easy to remember, option bracket. All right, so the next one we got is duration. Let's go ahead and select all of our clips, go up to modify and change duration. And what that brings up is this little menu here. Uh, it, it, it looks like nothing's happened except that this has turned purple. Let's say we need all these clips to be eight seconds. An eight, zero, zero. And the reason we added those zero, zero is this, uh, the, the far right digits are frames. So if you have 24 frames in your timeline, you'll be able to do 23 and then 24 will actually technically be one second. So in this case, we want eight seconds, zero frames. Nothing's happened yet until we press return, and that brings all those clips down to eight seconds. Now you can see this clip here did not have anything else to give. It's like, I'm giving it all I got. So the shortcut for changing duration is control D. As you can see, it brings that up again. Let's try seven seconds this time, and boom, all the clips lined right up. All right, the other thing we can do with the duration is add or take away a specific amount of time. So let's say we want to take away one second. We'll hit control D then hit the minus key, then we can set an amount. So let's say we wanna take off five seconds. Boom. If you wanna add back some seconds, you do control D plus, and we're gonna add back six seconds. Very good. If that tall stack of clips is a little overwhelming, just wait, there's a solution coming. But first, I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, now let's say we have done all that we needed to do with this set of clips and maybe we need to add even more on top or we're gonna be working with sound effects and a lot of other things on the timeline and we just need to sort of clean up our timeline to make it easier to navigate. All right, so we have all these highlighted. We're gonna right click and select new compound clip. And we get to name that, let's name that stacked clips. And boom, look at all that space saved. So just like the TARDIS, it's bigger on the inside. If we double click this, you will see everything that we just created has been condensed into its own timeline. So you can use these arrow keys to navigate between different timelines and within this compound clip, 
you can make adjustments and it will take effect in this main timeline. And this, uh, something interesting about compound clips, you can use them across multiple projects. If you edit that compound clip in a different project and then bring it back into this project, just know the changes you made for the other project are gonna get copied over here. It's just, it's, it's the same compound clip, it's the same source. Now to get past that, let's say we've put this into a new timeline. Maybe it needs to have its own identity in this new uh, timeline. So select the compound clip, then come up here to clip and reference new parent clip. Now what that does is it basically, you can see the text changed right here. Basically it changed from stacked clips to stacked clips copy. So it now copied this compound clip. We can come in here, rename this, and now it is a different compound clip. The changes made in this one will not affect the other one in the other project. All right, so we took a look at a few different tools to help us trim multiple clips, as well as how we can group them together using compound clips. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Well, we accomplished a lot in a short amount of time thanks to those shortcuts. Now that you've learned how to trim multiple clips in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to create an intro in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.